Hello everyone and welcome back to another Apostles of Muchinjiko podcast. I am your host Mas Baba Charles and I would just like to say thank you to everyone who's been engaging. I'd like to say thank you for your comments and we really hope that this podcast are helping you in deepening your understanding of Masowe. So for this week the topic that we're going to be discussing is regarding Jorodani or what is known as baptism in English. So um, I'm going to be explaining about what Jorodani is, how we do Jorodani, why we do Jorodani and some of the differences and similarities that comes in when you find different branches of Jorodani of Masowe and what makes Apostles of Muchinji quite different or similar to those branches. So before I get into that, I would just like to remind you when I spoke about the messenger or the anointed one. So for us, when we come to Apostles of Muchinjiko, we have the founder of the church and he was someone who was given a message by God. And in this message, one of his, uh, the things that he was meant to do in his mission was to baptize people. So the Holy Spirit said to him, I'm sending you forth to people and I want you in order to baptize them. So when he was given that message, he didn't fully understand what that meant in Masowe because he was someone who did not grow up in Masowe. He was someone who didn't attend Masowe. He didn't know about Baba Joani. He didn't know about Emmanuel or Nyenyezi. He didn't know about any of them. And he just came and he said, oh, I was told that I must do Jogadani. And so the differences in Masowe and branches of Masowe is that not every apostles or every Masoe branch have Jorodani or operate Jorodani in the same way. And this is for a different, um, a, a, a significant amount of different reasons. So this can be one, they say that they're waiting for the messenger of which was actually meant to do Jorodani. Or some of them say that they are waiting for some stuff that was foretold that have to be fulfilled. Some of them will tell you that Jorodani has been stopped because of specific reasons and things that happened. And some of them will say, well, Jorodani has been done using like um, purification jugs. So in many different branches of Masao, you'll find similarities and you'll find differences. But there is a fundamental behind all of them. The main thing when it comes to Jorodani is about the salvation of people. It doesn't really matter. There's no need to fight about how to do it or in in different ways of method of which one is correct and which one is wrong. That's not the most important thing. The most important thing is for people to be saved and the whole importance and reasoning behind Jorodani. So this is now what I'm going to get into. So why Jorodani for us? So for us, Jorodani is when we speak about the life and death of Christ. We're talking about um, people being submerged into water and then when they rise they have been risen once again up in Christ and they have been reborn. So Jorodani is a time for us where people will be reborn. So these people will re-emerge as people who are born again in Christ. So that means it is a time where we reflect what we have done throughout the whole year and how we are able to better ourselves and become closer to God. How is it that we are able to be reborn into Christ? Because for someone to be reborn into Christ, it then means that they have to become Christ-like. It means in everything that they do, they have to resemble Christ. So how they speak, you know, how they, their attitude, their mentality, everything of them should also resemble Christ. That when people see you, they should see God. They should see Christ and everything that you do. So Jorodani is a time for us when we reflect and we look at our actions and we say, how is it that you are able to get closer to God? And what is it that God is wanting from us? What is the spirit of the Lord yearning from us so that we are able to get closer to him and so that we might know of his wants? So that is sort of what Jorodani and why Jorodani means to us. And you find that in Jorodani, for us, we'll do it in a place of flowing water. So this can be places such as rivers or such as seas. And we do this because we believe that, you know, when we're being emerged, as I've said, we speak about life. And Jordan is about life and death and being reborn again. And obviously in this sort of body that's where you find life. So it's just another representation in that. But also if you look 
at the olden times of how they did Jogadani. If you look at Joanne the Baptist, you know, in Joanne Maso, we speak of Baba Joanne had the spirit of Joanne the Baptist. So it shows that when you speak about Baba Joanne, you have to speak about baptism. And in in the back in, in the olden days and in Jordan, you could see when Baba Joanne, when Joanne was there, he said to them, and he was in a place of plentiful water. And why was it plentiful water? This is so that people could be submerged into that. So this is why we believe that we're going to be in a place where there's plentiful water and flowing water as well. Because we are going to be reborn and for our sins to flow away from us once we emerge from there as well. But there's always exceptions. See, the Holy Spirit is a graceful and merciful spirit. In that, you say, for example, you've got someone in the hospital and they are unable to come out and they're unable to leave, but they have converted and they wanted to become an apostle. And obviously, as an apostle, one of our pillars of the church is Jordani. For you to be established as an, as an apostle in the apostles of Muchinjikwa, it means that you need to be baptized and it's something that you need to happen annually as well. This is one of the fundamentals that we have. But there's always ex exceptions that the Holy Spirit would make. So if someone is unable to move or unable to get there, then they can also be baptized using water that could be blessed by the priests and the ones that are anointed in order to actually carry out Jordani. So this is just something I wanted people to help to understand that the fundamental of the Holy Spirit and that the core belief in the Holy Spirit that God is love. So everything that he will do, yes, he wants his rules and his regulations to be followed, but he is also love, which means you always do what is most appropriate to accommodate us and to show us the spirit of mercy and to show us the spirit of love. So I hope that this podcast has been good for you and been helping you to understand Jogadani and sort of why we do Jogadani as well. And honestly, Hopefully, if you guys do come to visit us and you come to one of our services in Jogadani, you will see because this is a place of where people are fasting and where people are praying and where people are just repenting. The atmosphere, the, the joy that people have is just unmatched in that time of the year because for us... Jogadani is the one of the most important times that we have, such as Ramadan when it comes to our brothers and sisters in the Islamic faith. So this is something that bears such significance to us. And you see that's when the Holy Spirit will do a lot of works. For example, if you look at some of our videos that we've posted on YouTube, you see that there's people who, are, who were lame and, you know, there was people who were mute. There was people who had so many sicknesses and all of these were cured and all of these were helped at the place of Jogadani. So you see people who are singing and people who are happy. You hear utilating and people who are just so much joy when we come to that time of Jogadani. So this is what Jogadani is to us. It is a place where we are able to reminisce. It is a place where we are able to reflect and to get closer to God. It is also a place that most of us are helped and most of us are blessed and most of us are healed as well. So this is just something which is really important to us. So I hope that this week's podcast has been of some help in, to you in helping to understand about Jogadani and why we do Jogadani. I didn't go too much into detail, but obviously if you guys want to know more, we are always here and we're always offering to open up and to help you to understand and to better, you know, your understanding in Masowe. And with that, I would just like to say thank you so much for listening to this podcast.